spoke to most of you guys on uh on saturday night after disappointment uh of uh of the events there that day man i i, I don't know what else to say it's the biggest game of the year it's uh it's just an incredible feeling to be a, a competitor in that game and to lose that game i don't know if there's any any loss that feels worse than uh than losing that game i don't know when i've felt worse than uh than i have losing that game and uh our guys played really hard they played with great effort uh, and theirs obviously did too and uh they just they made more plays than we did they beat us fair and square and uh i wish we could have played better uh fundamentally and done some things better than we did on Saturday. And had we done that, we certainly would have given ourselves a better chance to win. Um, but our guys fought and and, uh, and and gave it their best effort. And uh, unfortunately, we we didn't come out on top. So uh, I am glad, though, that that we do have another opportunity to play. And uh, we're looking forward to that opportunity to be in the bowl game. And it's a first class bowl. We played in it twice before. And Brant Ringler and his staff just do an incredible job with with uh, with that bowl game and have hosted our players and our staff and families and just made us feel so welcome and and uh, and, and it's just such a big time uh, a big time bowl game. Um, we've had great crowds that have come to those games that uh, followed us down there. We've obviously got a a great contingency in Texas with uh, with graduates and with all the Army bases there. So. Hopefully, uh, again, this will be a, a great trip to Texas and we'll be able to, to finish out the season with, uh, with a victory if we, can, if we can earn it over a great Missouri team. Rich DeMarco. Hey, Coach, we talked a lot during the year about opportunity. What kind of opportunity <clears throat> this game against Missouri in a bowl game presents your squad? Well, to, to play in a bowl game is a great reward for, for any team. And it's it's something that every team that plays at this level strives to do, and uh, and we're very fortunate that we're we're getting to play in a bowl game again uh, this year. We uh, we 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 know what a great team and how talented Missouri is going to be, and uh, it's going to take a tremendous effort on our part to to prepare and to to have our guys ready for our guys to to be able to play with the, with the caliber athletes that they have. The well-coached football team, Coach Drinkwitz, is uh, is well-respected in our profession, and so we we've got our hands full. But uh, but just the opportunity to to play in a bowl game, be on national TV, play in the postseason, uh, to have our guys be rewarded with that opportunity, and and to have a chance to to earn a victory to finish out the the season and finish out the careers for our, for our seniors. This this senior class has certainly meant a lot to our program, and uh, and they've. They've led this team very well, uh, starting the off season all the way through this this year, and uh, and they just never never wavered from their commitment. They've they've uh, they've not gotten discouraged when we've when we've had uh, some difficult losses, and and uh, I trust that they're going to do the same with with uh, with the loss on Saturday. That we put it behind us and and forge ahead, and that's what they're going to have to do when they get in the army too. Is to to uh, to take the lumps sometimes, but rally their their troops and and forge ahead. So um, I'd like to get a victory for them, and it's going to be hard earned. We know that we know that that, that Missouri is going to be a, a a really tough opponent for us. And Jeff, we go through this every year when your team has been in a bowl game. How the practice schedule is going to be? Not like you have that one month to prepare for bowl games like <clears> other teams do. What will your practice schedule be like this week? And then leading into the trip down to Fort Worth, we got the guys together last night and uh, and had a chance to look at the film from Saturday. I thought it was important that we look at it, learn from it, and uh, and then we we're, we're going to practice this afternoon. So our guys started their final exams today. Um, we're going to practice this afternoon, and then uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of this week, we'll just have open hours. The guys, if they want to, they can come up and and get a lift. Uh, there are several guys that that don't have. A final exam today and and uh, others that don't have final exams on other days this week so we'll give them an opportunity to do that and then uh, friday morning is the final uh t or term end exam here 
uh, we'll practice that afternoon, we'll work out kind of our normal, our normal week, midweek uh, practice schedule. Uh, we'll practice again on Saturday morning before we fly down to Texas. And then when we get down to Texas, we'll, we'll really kind of start there on Sunday as we would on a Wednesday. We'll practice and then have a walk through on Monday and practice on Tuesday and, and, uh, and play the game on Wednesday. Thank you, Coach. Ken Kreitzer. All right, we'll circle back around. Joe Iacono, go ahead. Good afternoon, Coach Monk and Joe Iacono with GoBlackKnights.com. Um, Coach, we know that West Point cadets and even more specifically Army football players are extremely resilient, um, but we also recognize that they're human and Saturday's loss was extremely emotional. You know, you said yourself, it's probably the worst you felt after a game. Um, you know, from the feedback that we've been receiving since the final whistle blew on Saturday, there's been a wide array of emotions from surprise to disappointment. Um, so I can only imagine what the players' reactions have been. Obviously, without calling out anyone specifically or, or mentioning any players' names, uh, has the staff had to kind of take some extra steps or extra TLC to kind of um, help the kids heal from this, especially maybe the first E, so it's their last Army-Navy game and kind of get them ready to go for Missouri? Everybody's different. And they all, they all have uh, different levels of emotion and different ways of showing uh, that they hurt. And, uh, and certainly, I mean, in, in this game, I don't know why anybody would be surprised that it's a, it's a close game and it's a hard fought game. It is every year. I mean, it's just a, oh my gosh, it's a street fight every single year. And, uh, and, and they beat us. And, and that's hard. It's hard to, it's hard to live with it, it because we care so much. We invest so much and they do on the other side, every player and every coach and everybody's deeply invested. And, and when you lose it, it's disappointing. And, uh, and certainly we've had to, you know, just, just comfort our guys and, and uh, reassure them. But, but that's the great thing about having a chance to play in a bowl game. It, it gives us one more opportunity to, to, to put it behind us and play again and have that, that opportunity to go out there and compete again together one more time. And we're looking forward to that. And, and uh, we got great kids and it's because they invest so much. It's because they care so much and, and care so much about each other that it hurts so bad when we lose and especially when we lose to them. And then uh, my follow-up and final question, Coach. Uh, after Saturday's contest, you indicated that uh, you were both outcoached and outplayed. Needless to say, Missouri will be watching the game tape from the Navy game and a lot of other games, too, to kind of see how to defend you. Are there any adjustments you feel you need to make going into the Missouri game? Sure. There's a lot of things we learned from Saturday, but we learned things every week. There were things in the, in the Liberty game that we saw that we felt like we've got to do a better job with. And and try to make those corrections before we play Navy. And, and you know, just going back through the, the whole season, every, every week we evaluate and see what we can do better. And uh, you know, every, every opponent that we play, just as we do for, for everyone that we face, we'll watch every one of Missouri's games. We'll try to gather what we think they're gonna do, and what we think we need to do and, and try to go execute it. And so, um, you know, that's, that it, it happens when when you lose a game, when a team loses a game, when we lose a game, it's not on one person. It's on all of us, coaches, players, everybody. So when we get beat, we've been outdone. We've been outdone in terms of coaching. We've been outdone done in terms of the way we played. And so we've obviously got to do that better and, and coach and play better the next time out. And hopefully we'll do that. Thanks, Coach. Ken Kreitzer. Hey, thank you. Uh, good morning, Coach. Ken Kreitzer, Sons of the American Legion Radio. And just starting uh, on the defense Saturday, Kamonti Yao had a big game with 13 tackles. And I really was struck by the play at the end of the, you know, near the end when Chris Frey, Nolan Cockrell made that fourth quarter stop on the third and five. Uh, what were your overall thoughts about the defense Saturday? I thought the defense played really hard. Um, we obviously uh, gave up some some big plays, and that was disappointing. Um, the uh, 
the, the two reverses, the reverse and the reverse pass. The, the one in the third quarter was a reverse pass, and and uh, we 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 covered the quarterback who was trying to leak out of there. It was Andre Carter, and he slipped on the ground, got up, and, and it, as uh, as the Navy kid was running the ball, he had a chance to knock him out of bounds. We didn't do that, and he got it down in scoring position. You know, twice that happened, and so we gave up big plays there. We gave a big play on hitch route. We had a chance to tackle him. We would have got a first down, but 24 yards on a hitch route is is a, a good bit. And and then, you know, they 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 were able to control the clock in the second half. Uh, and one drive, much in part to the to the uh, fake punt, which I guess wasn't really a called fake punt. Which you know, sometimes things just go your way. That kid made a great play to to grab that ball, give him credit, and. Uh, and then we, you know, had a chance to stop him in the backfield. And he wasn't having that either. And uh, so they they turned that into a 15 play drive and and controlled the clock. And we just we got to be able to get them off the field because they make one first down there. That doesn't make it a rule that they got to get another one. And uh, so we just let them control the clock on us. And we we uh, you know we didn't help on offense by going three and out. And uh, and then five and out in the uh, in the third quarter. We had eight plays in the third quarter, and then I don't know how many we had in the in the uh, fourth quarter. But I mean, we we hardly had the ball at all in the second half. So it was just you know the whole team just not uh, not executing as well as we need to. We let them you know run the ball. They they lined up in the shotgun a good bit, and uh, we anticipated that they would. We didn't know what plays they would run out of the shotgun. There's there's an awful lot you can do, uh, but, uh, but you know, we just didn't do a very good job stopping the run and, and uh, getting them off the field when we needed to. So uh, I thought our guys played really hard, gave, gave a great effort. And Nolan Cockrell played really tough and really hard. He's, he's such a good player. Uh, there are other guys, too. I mean, just, just a great effort, just not the performance that we wanted. And, hey Coach, just on offense, I mean uh... – after the first quarter, where you had the big play from Christian Anderson, 49 yards rushing and uh, uh, just a, three first downs in the second half. Um, and, and Jacoby Buchanan had four carries, uh, uh, six yards a carry, but you re it really seemed to be a struggle to get the fullbacks going all day Saturday. What, what was your thought after you saw the tape? Well, like I said, I mean, they, they, uh, their team played hard, too. We made a lot of mistakes offensively just I, I I don't I don't know I don't know why we made some of the mistakes we made um we we, we didn't see anything defensively that we weren't anticipating that we didn't practice against yet we we busted assignments and blocked the wrong guy and took poor angles and played poor fundamentally bad pad level didn't 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 play aggressively enough, get on the attack. I don't know why. And uh, it uh, it's disappointing. But, you know, to the credit of the other team, they did. They, they, they played. They played hard. And they, uh, they beat blocks, and that's the name of the game. We, we didn't sustain the blocks, and they beat the blocks. And, and that's why it was hard for us to get anything going. Thanks, Coach. Ben McMillan. Um, hi, Jeff. Um, how shocked were you that this occurred, that you couldn't snap them out of it, especially, you know, after halftime and in, into the second half? I mean, uh, you know, what's the what was your take there as far as, you know, why can't we get this thing going? Well, we did have the lead at halftime. We were up 13 to seven, though I didn't think we were playing great. You know, we had two drives that that we had to settle for field goals. And uh, and I was disappointed that we couldn't turn those into to uh, to touchdowns. We had given up, you know, a couple big plays on uh, on defense. One that set up a touchdown, and then you know, even there on third down, they they ran the the quarterback on third down from the eight yard line, and uh, and he poked in the end zone. It was a great run, but gosh, uh, tackling fundamentals are poor, and uh, there's there's didn't have to score there, but I, I didn't know that we had something we needed to snap out of at, at halftime. Just 
we needed to to stop them and and put some drives together where we scored touchdowns. And as it turned out, it just you know they took the opening drive down and again on a fourth and four play, uh, they were they ran the reverse pass and he's probably going to get a first down, but. We, we got a chance to knock him out of bounds. We did, and he made a really good run down the sideline. They scored the next play and went up by a point. And, uh, and then we went three and out, and then we went five and out. And they controlled the clock. And, well, I, I mean, we got to play. You got to make plays. You got you to block and sustain blocks. You got to get off of blocks and get ball carriers to the ground. That's the name of the game. And, uh, and they did it better than us on Saturday. You said that the team practiced last night. Um, how did you want them coming into practice yesterday? Did you want them still uh, angry, or did you want them back at an even keel? What, what was, what, how did you gauge their emotions yesterday, and where do you want them right now? So we just, we just met last night. We didn't practice. We're going to practice this afternoon. We, we met uh, as a team and uh, talked about the game. We, we watched uh, – Offense and defense broke up, and, and we watched the film from uh, from Saturday. We watched special teams as a special teams unit, and uh, we fed those guys and got them out of here so they go study for their their final exams that they had this morning. But uh, you know they they're hurt. It, it doesn't just when you're a competitor. For most competitors that that really care, it's not going to go away in 24 hours. It's not going to go away for a while, and that's okay. It tells me they care. I mean, if they came in and they were laughing and joking and it didn't bother them, I'd be worried. But it bothers our guys. It bothers me. I mean, I'm I'm mad and dejected. I mean, you're gonna feel that way. It's the biggest game of the year, our biggest rivalry. We we want to beat them more than we want to beat anybody. And so, you know, they do too. And they've been on that side of it. And this year we're on that side of it. And that's it's just that's that's what a rivalry is. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. If if you never win, it's not a rivalry. If you never lose, it's not a rivalry. Uh, I'd like to be I'd like to never lose. I'd like to beat them every single time. But, you know, it's it's always been a close game. It's always been a dog fight. And uh, and so we put a lot into it. And when you do that, when you invest a lot, it means a lot to you. And so to come up on the short end is disappointing and and uh and it hurts but like i said we got we got a lot to look forward to that's why we're coming back today and uh and we can I, I wanted our guys to look at the film it's not like it doesn't matter we don't just throw it in the trash and say well that one doesn't matter anymore it does we can learn from it and and it should it should motivate us to want to want to play better and so today our focus goes to missouri and i'm glad we've got that game and uh we, we, we're one of the teams that gets to play in a bowl game. So excited about that. And I'm sure our guys will be uh, ready and, and focused on this practice this afternoon and having a chance to play an SEC team, which will, will present a great challenge for us. Thanks, Jeff. John Kikas. Hey, Coach. Um, are we going to be seeing Jabari Laws again, or is he able to play? He's able to play. Was not sure, you know, that that uh, it was the right time to just insert him into the game. He's he's a very capable player, uh, a tremendous leader. I, I love Jabari Laws, and uh, you know, we're ready to put him in the game. But you know, it's hard to play three quarterbacks, and I think that the guys we've got, the two that we had, were the right guys for Saturday night. Um, you know, they 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 each did some things that. I wish they could have executed a little bit better, whether it was throwing the ball, running the ball, or, or uh, you know, managing the clock, or whatever it may have been. But they, they've, uh, you know, they both played a lot of football for us, and uh, and have the most experience this year. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Coach, uh, just asking about Jabari Laws. He's a senior, but he missed an entire season due to injury. Is there any chance? that he'll apply for an NCAA exemption to be able to play uh, next year? Uh, I, don't, I don't think that Jabari's going to do that. Uh, he, he's going to graduate and, uh, 
and be commissioned and we're proud of him for that. Obviously having the two catastrophic knee injuries, you know, that's something that he's got to be conscious of in terms of his, his career as an officer. And, and uh, you know, that, that's, that's something that's important to him. And, and we certainly support that. Absolutely. Uh, Coach, just preparing uh, on a short schedule week for uh, Missouri, uh, is it more difficult on the defense, which probably has to study the Missouri offense more? The offense can kind of run what it's been doing. Is there any difference about how you approach the, how the offense prepares versus the defense? No, I, I think it's, it's, it's like we do each week. And, uh, and, and there, are, there are adjustments and things that we do on both sides of the ball that are unique to each opponent. Um, or the way that we we think they're going to try to, try to attack us offensively or defensively. Uh, so uh, we'll we'll try to put a, a game plan together, and we've got all week to do it this week. I, I, I you know I wish we could practice all this week, but having our term end exams this week makes it a little bit difficult to do that. And we've had term end exams the week of the Army Navy game before, so. Uh, talk about a challenge. Uh, at least we, you know, we've got uh, this week to take the tests and then be able to practice this weekend and next week. But um, our, our coaches will put a good a good plan together, and uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm anxious to see our guys get out there and practice again, especially on Friday and Saturday as we get the whole team out there and and really see how how we respond. Thank you, coach. We'll close out with Ken McMillan. Uh, Jeff, uh, I think a lot of college teams use bowl games for <clears throat> a variety of purposes. Obviously, you want to win, but what's your, what do you think your general approach will be for this game? Is it a showcase for your seniors? How much do you plan to look forward to next year or give some guys a chance? What, what's your general consensus on how you want to approach the game? Win. Aside from that. <laughs> It's all that matters. We're mm -hmm. going to try to prepare to win. That's it. We're playing a football game, and our goal is to win. It's not to showcase anybody, get ready for next year, see who might be uh, a good player at one position or another. I, it, it's our job as a team to represent the brand that we play for, and that's the United States Army and West Point. And in the United States Army and at West Point, winning matters. And so we're going to do everything we can to win the game. How valuable was the experience of playing West Virginia last year for guys going to a bowl game? It's a great experience for everybody that gets to play in a bowl game. I, I, uh, I wish we could have won the game last year. That would have been a lot better experience. But you know, that's why we're going to try to approach this game the same way we have all the rest of them, to try to win the game. And uh, we tried to do that last year. And I thought our guys gave a great effort. They obviously made – made enough plays to beat us and uh, we did. So uh, we're gonna try to find a way to, to do that this year so we can make enough plays and give ourselves a chance. So it's no different from any other road game. It's no other additional challenges. Not to me. Well, I mean, there's, there's, uh, there's the fact that we don't have classes from Friday afternoon on and we can 100% concentrate on football. That doesn't happen very often around here. So. I'm kind of looking forward to our guys having the opportunity to just focus on football and, and our team and getting rested and getting a full night's sleep and, you know, all those things that aren't common around here. So hopefully that's going to help us perform. And, and uh, like I said, our only goal is to win the game. And any early scouting report on Missouri or not yet? Well, I mean, I've watched them on film and uh, they're certainly very athletic. They play in a great conference. They, they've, they've battled and beaten really good, talented football teams. Uh, they've got a, an outstanding coach and coaching staff. And uh, so, you know, initially, uh, obviously, we, we, uh, you know, we're finishing up with watching the game from, from Saturday and uh, getting into to, uh, preparing last night and, and this morning for the uh, – for the Missouri team, we haven't had a chance to see all of it, but enough that we know they're very talented and very well coached, and it's going to be a real challenge for us. Thanks, Jeff.